guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video and it's quite different from my channel. I thought I'd do something fun and different and I want you guys to get to know me better and I want to know you guys better, the ones that watch my videos and I don't know, I thought I'd do a quick little video, well, I try to make it quick, <laughs> a little video of you guys getting to know me better and one thing is like the first thing I have is like I don't know if you can see, it's a Harry Potter shirt. Yes, I am a Potterhead. And excuse the hair, like it's it's a mess, bad hair day. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, I'm going to go through a tiny little list of things that I like and don't like and stuff like that, okay? Three fears. I have a fear of failure, a fear of falling, and a fear of getting bitten by venomous animals. So yeah, fear of failure is just like, I don't like making mistakes. And when I do, I get like really mad at myself and I get like disappointed and sad and I get like tense and I get anxiety if I'm going to make a mistake or something like that. And which I know is not wrong, but that's just my fear and I'm working on it. I mean, I know if you don't make mistakes, you're not human and you're not living and you're not doing things. So yeah, I'm working on it. Um, I have a fear of falling. So it's not like falling like, oh yeah, I'm standing and <laughs> I'm scared to fall. No, it's like, I'm not scared of height. I'm not scared of heights, like really high places. And standing there, I, I like the view and everything. I'm scared of like standing over the edge and someone pushing me over and falling down and like dying or something. I'm really scared of that. The thought of that just made me go clammy and made my anxiety just like rise. Okay, okay, that's not gonna happen. And the fear of getting bitten by something poisonous is just like like a venomous snake or a scorpion or a black widow or something like that. I'm just like really scared for that for me to happen because I don't want to die because of that, you know? So yeah. Those are my three fears. Um, what's the last song I listened to? Let me look it up. I was just listening to it. I use Spotify a lot. I also have like the um, music app. I have I buy songs from iTunes and stuff like that. But I love using Spotify. I have tons of albums and playlists there. So if you want to follow me, I'll just pop the username to see if you're interested in any of my music and my music taste. Mm, okay. Um, the last song I listened to was "Don't Stop Me Now" by Queen. Uh, next, uh, my favorite band. I would have to say my favorite band is Side Between Two. I really, really like Iron and Wine, and I like Daughter. And in general, for my music taste, I like basically everything. But the things I listen to most are is like pop and rock and hip hop and like, like when I say rock, I mean like Guns N' Roses, Iron Maiden. Aerosmith and stuff like that. So yeah, I listen to a bit of everything. I do love classical music as well, and I love like that chilled alternative music. So yeah, that's why I'm saying that. Um, my favorite band ever would have to be either. It, it, it's tied between Iron and Wine and Daughter. If you have never listened or heard of them, look them up. I love. Um, I love them so much. I have like four albums by Daughter in my phone all the time. I listen to them all the time. And Iron and Wine, I have several albums of theirs. They have it's like I don't know, I don't think everyone likes their type of music, but I do. And my favorite song by them is Flightless Bird American Mouth. I think that I think that's what it's called. <laughs> don't get me wrong, let me look for let, let me look for it. Yes, it's called Flightless Bird American Mouth by Iron and Wine. And that actually is my all-time favorite song. Three things that upset me. Um, mean people in general. Like, I hate when people are mean or rude to people when they don't even know them, especially strangers. I really, really... It's not like I hate, but it really upsets me when people are mean to my family or close friends or somebody that I, like, care about or love. It's just, like, when they're mean to them, it really upsets me and it gets me quite, like, angry. It takes me off right away and it's just like, what is wrong with you? Um, I'd say another thing that upsets me would be like my friends, like losing my friends. Because I have moved to different places in the world and I have um, gone to different schools, I have like not lost, I have lost like friends in the sense that I'm not with them anymore. Like we're in two separate countries or we're like on the complete opposite side of the world and I'm not with them anymore. So I have tons of friends that like are spread all over the world and that upsets me because I, I love being with my friends, I love having my friends and the fact that I am away or I have to move or something like that, it just like it makes me really sad. 
to lose those type of people because I really care about them and it's quite hard for me to make friends. Um, three things that make me happy. Well, I definitely have to see is like watching movies and films and like going to the the cinema. I love doing that. Christmas, you have no idea how Christmas crazy I am. Like, genuinely have no idea how Christmas crazy I am. <laughs> and I am obsessed with Christmas and Halloween and fall and I love it so much. <laughs> Another thing I love is just like cozy days with hot chocolate and just seeing a film and sitting down and like wrapping up in a blanket and all cozy. I love those days. That that Those are things that make my heart genuinely warm. Another thing I love and it's like kind of obvious is playing with makeup. I love playing with makeup and collecting it and creating different things and playing with makeup on other people's faces. I just find it so much fun and I don't care like <laughs> if they pay me or not or anything like that. I just love doing it so much so I genuinely I would be doing those kind of things for free but you know working for free is not nice so if you can get money which is, is a bit better get me feel me yeah well playing with makeup i love playing with makeup traits that i find attractive so people that are funny people that are confident people that are down to earth and very like nice and polite so funny like you can make me laugh and i laugh and do silly things with you and i can be myself with you then i find that really attractive and uh, confident people, when they're confident, like, I don't know how to explain it. When people are confident, I find that, like, attractive. When they're confident of being themselves, they don't care what other people say. That is, like, nice. You feel me? Then down-to-earth people, just, like, people that are not superficial, that are, like, down-to-earth. I don't really know how to explain it. That they're, they don't think that the most important thing in the world is the earrings they're wearing, the shirts that they have on. That, that That's not the most important thing in this world. I mean, to me, at least, that in my opinion, the most important thing in this world is love and care and people that just know that when they die, they're not going to go with their material stuff. They're just going to go with their own experiences and, and they're going to know that they did the best they can in their life and that they loved everyone when they died. It sounds so corny and cheesy, but that's the way I think. <laughs> oh god. Okay, and people that are nice. So generally, if you are nice, if you're polite and you care about the people, you're considerate and stuff like that. Like, I don't mean like, oh yes, open the door for me. Oh yes, open the chair, open the car door. I mean, that's nice too. That's like a nice detail and thing and it's like a gentleman. Moving on. What's my favorite animal? My favorite animal is probably a turtle or a dolphin. They're just so cute. I love them so much. Just like with their little fins and everything. Oh. Okay. Um, cat or dog? I have both. So I have four, five dogs, I think. And I have two cats. So yeah, I love animals and we have many at my house. So favorite Netflix series? I would have to say that is Teen Wolf 100%. I used to be completely obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. I stopped watching it. I don't know why I have to get into watching that series again. But my ultimate favorite series have to be Teen Wolf and Friends. Like, I really like those two series. Friends is like more of a series that I put on the background and watch it all the time. Like, I'm watching it all the time. And Teen Wolf is one that I genuinely love. Like, I sit down and watch it. For example, the fifth season, I watched it in like seven hours. Like I had a marathon and I finished the whole season in like two days. I don't think that's very nice for you. I don't think that's healthy. My all-time favorite song, I've already said it, is the Flightless Bird, Flightless Bird and American Mouth. It's just amazing. Favorite clothing brand. I don't really have a favorite clothing brand, but I have various. I have, for example, I really, here in Mexico, I really like picking up clothes from Forever 21, H&M, Bershka, Pull and Bear, and Zara. I love those five places. Those five shops, it sums up all my clothing items, <laughs> truly. A quick embarrassing moment. Um, okay, a quick embarrassing moment. Whew, it's not like I have plenty of them. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, okay. So one time, I was in the center, and that's like the middle, like downtown, I think. I would call it downtown, probably. And I was like in the middle of the city, I was just walking around, and 
um, there are these steps and you know how normal people look at the steps before they go on top, right? Well, I was walking and I was speaking, I think, to my mom and we were walking and I don't know what we were doing, but it was like a bit ago and I still remember that time because it was so damn painful. And I had sandals on and they were a bit big on me <laughs> and there, uh, over there, there are like tons of like holes and rocks and things you could trip on, no? So I actually tripped over uh, this rock and then fell on top of the stairs so it was like a little it was like an, another step so the floor and then another step to go into like this like little uh, fountain area and stuff like that I tripped it there and I ripped my leggings and I fell down and everyone looked at me and they were laughing their heads off it was so embarrassing because I was I was it's not like I was a little kid, okay, that just doesn't see the steps and falls down. No, I tripped over my sandal, fell like right on my face. Well, I didn't fall right on my face, I did put my hands, but I fell on my knees and ripped all my leggings, and they were like my favorite navy leggings. And my sandals kind of like got ruined there, and I still use those sandals because they're my favorite sandals ever, but... I tripped and everyone was laughing at me, including my mom. And I was just like so bummed. I was just like, uh, I fell over. I'm so clumsy. And then that same day, like right after, I took like two turns around the street. And then there was, I went, no. And then I was just looking around. I was just like, oh, it looks, it's really, really nice over here. I was pointing to somewhere. I was completely distracted and wasn't looking the way I was supposed to look. And then there comes a pole. And yes, I bumped into a pole. <laughs> and everyone looked at me as well, and they were just giggling. And I was just like, why? Why is this day so bad? <laughs> oh my god, it was so embarrassing. That day, I swear, I was just like, I can't no more. I'm just going to go home and cry <laughs> and just watch some Netflix and eat, and eat some chocolate. I was just... It was so embarrassing. I did laugh at myself. I didn't just get completely embarrassed and go, oh, my life sucks, but no, that was on the inside, but I actually do laugh at myself every single time those things happen, but yeah, I have plenty of these embarrassing stories, if you'd like me to do a complete video on these things, let me know, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know if there are any other things I could say really quickly, but if you have any other questions and things like that, like to get to know me, or I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I'm just really clumsy, embarrassing, silly. I hope you liked it. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. I love doing these kinds of things. I feel like I'm really like showing off my... Not showing off. That's not what you say. <laughs> I'm really showing my personality and the way I am. And I just get to be who I am. And I get to talk to you guys. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Especially those, like, in general, people being mean. Where are you? I can't do it anymore. I'm looking a bit oily. Ole. Ole. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab one more intro. It's one more time. Do 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. and you're at the very end of the video, why am I slapping? Ow! <laughs> that hurt. Now, 
it's actually the end of the video. And I'll see you on my next video.